Just be like, look, I, don't, I know what you want to do here, but I'm still from the numbers, and it's just no thing. You know, I'm trying to sell you. So, I mean, okay, so, so there, there are actually systems in the universe where stars are kind of drained in a similar way. So, so there's, um, there are systems where you have, you have a, um, two stars in a binary order around each other, and one is a regular uh, star, like, we call it a main sequence star, so some kind of star on the sort of its normal life, life cycle. And then you have another star that's a compact object, so it's a dead star that's just like the, the core of, of the star it used to be. And that can be really, really dense. And if they're in a close enough orbit, sometimes the really dense star can pull material off of the other star and like suck its atmosphere off of it, and then sometimes it explodes in a massive supernova. It's really cool. Ah, yes. um, and uh, and you, so you, so this kind of thing, this pulling mass from one thing to another, does happen. But it happens by the other thing having like stronger gravitational pull and being able to take this sort of puffy atmosphere of the regular star and and pull it across. And the 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 star killer base. Like you, you can't just use like a vacuum cleaner. Like you have to, have, like you have to have some kind of mechanism to to pull what, this. What if they increased the gravity of the center of the planet yeah. without destroying the planet? So I think I mean that's that's a that's a great idea, but if you're standing on the planet, oh. it's not going to go well for you. <laughs> <laughs> so the compression of your spine just gets more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean, if, if the thing was that massive to begin with, everybody would be like sort of crushed. If you had some kind of way of sort of mitigating the extra gravitational field in some way, you have to a little bit, right? They have to control yeah. gravity because they're flying around on starships. Right. So they, they have some kind of way of doing that, but then you're also you're pulling the mass of the star over as well. So then you have to have like a super extra powered gravity mitigation system. Yeah. They, they, did you, did you read the Star Wars Appendix B? <laughs> The gravity mitigation. Yeah. <laughs> Please. So, okay, so, so, okay, so you've got to. Okay, so you've got to have some kind of way of pulling it over. Maybe you can do that with like the extra gravity. But then you also have to shield the surface from the stuff inside, which is really, really hot. In addition to everything else, because it's the, the the atmosphere of a star. So you need the gravity shielding and the the heat shielding somehow, because there's like snow. The thermal oh, oscillator. I think it's a thermal oscillator in the movie. That's what they use. Oh, okay. Jesus. You are right, technically. <laughs> so, so, doesn't they need to have like, some kind of thermal oscillator? You, do you mean an exhaust port? <laughs> <laughs> because we're doing the same movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, so, so you have your, your gravity... So it just thing. moves the heat around quick. No problem. Right, okay, so you have your gravity... <laughs> thing, you have your, your heat shielding thing. And then, and then you also... Okay, at that point, then you're going to be messing with the orbits of all these things. So, so there have been a few articles written about this actually, where oh, if wow. you're transferring the mass from the star to the to the planet, um, that's going to bring the orbits closer together. They're going to start going around a lot faster. Maybe everything will start spinning like crazy, and then things will be flowing off, flowing off the surface, which is also bad. Um, so you have to have some kind of way of dealing with that. Um, and that's awesome. <laughs> so. So, Stormtroopers is flying on. <laughs> um, and then once, and then once you've dealt with that, you also have to find a way to shoot this this uh, beam yeah. out of the star killer base onto something else. Which I guess you can just sort of reverse all those. Let it go. You know, reverse all those fields that have been pulling it over. And but if you're doing it with gravity, then you can't do that. So you have to have some other mechanism to pull stuff off of the star, so you can reverse it to push things out of the star. Ah. But for that, there there are there are sort of there are stars that have massive um, jets uh, coming out of them. So uh, neutron stars often have these really strong magnetic fields, and they they have uh, material that gets flung out of the star in these these long jets. And if the star is rotating, it can go around and make a pulsar, which is really cool. Which you shall read about. Um, but anyway, so you could probably make a jet. Stop plugging astrophysics. <laughs> so cool though. All right. Um, so you could probably make a jet with a big enough magnetic field, but then that's really going to mess with like your TIE fighters and stuff because they're going to be in this massive, this really strong magnetic field, and they're going to have to deal with that too. It's going to be, it's going to be. It sounds work. complicated. Yeah, it's it's going to be really difficult. But if you channeled all the a star's energy towards something.